Hello, everybody. It's the top of the hour, so I'm going to get started. Good morning, afternoon, or night, depending on where you are. Uh, this is the backend plan update for September 25, 2018. And uh, I'm presenting it in view of Sean since he's out of office today. So we had uh, some pretty good additions to the team. Right now, we are welcoming Brett. Uh, he is joining us from the Geo team uh, after their successful migration to Google Cloud. And uh, he brings with him a passion for Markdown, uh, specifically Common Mark, which he helped ship in 11.1 and 11.3. And in his spare time, he develops a versatile Markdown for Mac OS, and he enjoys craft beer and movies. So we're very excited to have Brett on board now in the plan team. And uh, now uh, I'm gonna show off some interesting additions uh, that we've had these past few milestones. We added uh, milestone dates and epics, uh, thanks to Michelle, Pedro, and Mark. Uh, what this does is it grabs the start and end date uh, directly from the milestones in the issues in an epic. So uh, you no longer have to manually add a start date unless you want to. Uh, you can just immediately grab a start and end date from the uh, issues that are in the epic. And upcoming, uh, something that's been highly requested is batch comments. Uh, we're currently working on it this milestone. And thanks a lot to Andre and Pedro uh, for working on this with me. Uh, it'll allow you to uh, have a full review, full of draft comments, and uh, submit them all together as uh, one operation. Uh, in 11.3, we had some uh, very nice things shipped. Uh, we now have a uh, roadmap and epic list view sorting, thanks to Jarka, Kushal, and Pedro. Uh, we added some extra sorting features here uh, to sort by start date, to sort by um, the required end date. We now use a uh, resource label event for tracking label changes, thanks to Jan, Fatih, and Kushal. Uh, and uh, this will be a uh, great help to us in tracking uh, different changes in, in an issue. So you'll be able to go uh, see the history of uh, label changes in an issue. Uh, we also finally enabled common mark for files on wikis, thanks to Brett. And this actually allowed us to enable common mark across the board. So we are now officially using common mark everywhere. Uh, we now have also usage pings for different board list types. So now that we added assignee lists and milestone lists, um, we added usage pings to see what, uh, how much our users are using these new features. And uh, this is thanks to Chantal. Uh, then we fixed a technical depth issue, which is to use a serializer to render uh, diff lines before we weren't using a serializer. So thanks a lot, Felipe. And we also fixed uh, a bug in Jira that was duplicating uh, GitLab branches. So if you, you went into an issue in Jira and you would see the same GitLab branch just 20 or 30 times. In 11.4, uh, we will be shipping a new filter uh, for the discussions tab in order for you to be able to filter by only comments or only activity to make it easier to uh, see the discussions or see the changes to an issue. And uh, thanks a lot for, to Felipe, Pedro, and Constance for working on this. We are fixing system notes generated on epics. Uh, they currently do not link to any reference issues. So thanks to Chantal and Annabelle for taking this on. Uh, we are adding the ability to close and reopen epics uh, so people can tidy up their epic list a little bit hide all the, all the epics that you no longer care about, stuff like that. And uh, this is thanks to Jarka, Annabelle, and Kushal. And we're also working on seven performance improvements on this milestone. And if we get all of them done, it, it allows us to reach 100% of uh, our quarter three performance OKR. And uh, a big thing that's also coming is upgrading to Rails 5. We are very close on this. Uh, right now in 11.4, we are solving the remaining issues for running CI on Rails 4 after switching to Rails 5. So uh, with the Rails 5 uh, upgrade comes a lot of um, 
changes to the database schema and some other changes. And so we're making sure that we can still run the CI against Rails 4 in case we need to uh, roll back. So tentatively, the plan is to make Rails 5 default in master at the beginning of 11.5 so that uh, during that cycle, we can fix any additional new bugs. And if it's stable, ship 11.5 with it. And the progress here is thanks to our wonderful community contributors. And as a special shout out, uh, we'd like to thank Blackstone and Jaylee Nice, who have been super involved in this. And these are all the updates that I've had. So let me look in the chat real quick for some questions. So Philippe says, is the upgrade to Rails 5 a shared task with other teams? And that's a yes. Uh, we have been taking a uh, lead on this, but uh, this is a shared effort between all the backend teams. Uh, looks like there are no more questions. So thank you everybody for coming to the first FGU I've ever given. I guess uh, I'll give you back the next 25 minutes of your life. See you in the team call. Thanks a lot.